welcome back. Hunting prey has been the staple to life since time began. Large teeth, fast movement and a keen eye are popular choices for many species. However, these systems don't always work and that is when evolution starts getting creative. So here are 10 creatures and their formidable hunting techniques. The Amazonian Giant Centipede Coming in at an impressive length of 30 centimeters, this creature is one of the largest centipedes on earth. Its front legs have adapted into sharp venom carrying fangs. Feeding on anything it can kill, its main diet consists of bats and small mammals. It uses these fangs in conjunction with its blistering speed to inject venom into its prey. The venom it uses is a potent combination consisting of acetylcholine, histamine and serotonin, each of which are pain suppressants. It then finishes this combo with a devastating haymaker of proteases and cardiodepressants. These help stop the heart. Although a bite from one of these wouldn't kill you, the bite itself can cause extreme pain followed by chills, swelling, fever and even weakness of the muscles. The Mantis Shrimp This seemingly beautiful crustacean packs a massive punch, literally. As you may well know, the mantis shrimp has club-like appendages in which it bludgeons its prey to death at ferocious speeds. Reaching up to 50 mile an hour, the clubbed arms are designed to smash the shells of crabs and give massive brain damage. However, there is a subspecies that is brother to the mantis shrimp. The Spira mantis shrimp has all the characteristics of its uppercutting sibling, with one small yet frightening difference. The clubbed arms have been removed by evolution and replaced by incredibly sharp, spear-like daggers. They move and act the same way the clubs do, but instead of punching crabs, this shrimp spears anything it can get near. Both types of mantis shrimp are one of the most aggressive crustaceans in the sea and are not to be toiled with. Couple this with the fact that mantis shrimp have the ability to see light we can't, we can safely say that this shrimp is best left well alone. The Dragonfish The abyss holds many dangers, this being one of them. The Dragonfish is a deep sea fish that holds an advantage far in advance of most deep sea creatures. However, it may not be what you think it is. The vast majority of deep sea creatures have simplistic eyes. Light reaching the depths is minimal and so sight is not important if you wish to spend your energy on other means of survival. That is unless you create your own light. The dragonfish has evolved to boast an impressive array of organs to clearly see in the dark depths of the ocean. The vast majority of sea life cannot see red light, however the dragonfish can. Red light at these depths doesn't happen. It simply cannot penetrate from the surface all the way down to the abyss. That isn't a problem for the dragonfish, as it has a special organ underneath its eye that emits red light outwards, creating a field of vision only visible by the dragonfish. This fish uses its own infrared system to locate and devour unsuspecting prey. The Assassin Bug This bug more than lives up to its name. Many variations of Assassin Bug use several techniques to catch their prey, most of which use ambush. One of the more intelligent ways of hunting is that of the spider-eating Assassin Bug. Once it's found a web, the assassin bug rests its leg on a strand of silk from the web. It then jerks the strand up and down, mimicking the vibrations of a helpless fly. The spider then rushes out from where it was hiding, only to be greeted by the straw-like rostrum of the assassin bug. This straw then injects the spider, liquefying its insides. The remaining spider soup is then sucked through this straw. The Tentacled Water Snake This relatively small, waterborne snake is the black sheep of the snake genus. It doesn't constrict its prey and its venom is fairly harmless to all but small fish. Given its small stature, this snake has developed a cunning and impressive way of catching its food. Fish are notoriously fast and agile, a snake couldn't possibly chase its prey. So the Tentacled Water Snake chooses the ambush method. Anchored by its tail, it suspends itself in a curious J shape. As a fish passes, the snake creates a disturbance in the water with the lower half of its body. This sets off a survival reflex in the fish to swim the opposite direction from the supposed danger. 
The snake then anticipates this movement and strikes. The fish swims right into the snake's jaws. The tentacled water snake is a true ambush predator. The chimpanzee. This one is more brutal than creative. The chimpanzee is one of the most intelligent animals on the planet, having been recorded using tools to recover food. It is no wonder we are regarded to be closely related to them. Living a life foraging for honey, nuts, ants and termites, the common chimpanzee sometimes has the urge to eat meat. This is bad news for the red colobus, a smaller monkey sharing its habitat with chimpanzees. A group of chimps go into a blood-lusted frenzy, chasing these smaller primates around the trees. Once one is caught, the group tear and rip the helpless monkey, which is usually an infant, apart. Devouring the monkey, they leave nothing behind apart from teeth and bones. The North American Short-Tailed Shrew This cute-looking shrew holds onto a gruesome secret. One of few mammals to have venom, this shrew uses just that to attack its prey, which consists mainly of mice. However, this venom isn't to kill the prey, quite the opposite in fact. The North American short-tailed shrew injects venom from its lower jaw to paralyse its prey. The helpless mouse is then eaten over a period of a few days. The venom is designed to keep the poor creature alive as long as possible without movement. This helps the shrew eat its prey at a nice slow pace without the risk of rotting. The mouse will succumb to its injuries after a period of several days, helpless and immobile. The Margay A small cat native to Central and South America. As with most cats, being a predator comes naturally. Armed with highly tuned senses, this feline is like any other cat on the planet, with one key difference. The Margay has learned to be vocal about its hunting. Whilst on the prowl, this cat will amazingly mimic the sound of a baby pied tamarin in distress. This is a call the tamarins cannot ignore. As they rush to the aid of the helpless baby, they are ambushed by a hungry marge. This intelligent way of hunting has been compared to high levels of thinking such as tool use by monkeys. The Peregrine Falcon This falcon is the single fastest animal on the planet. Hunting mainly small birds such as pigeons, waders and doves, this bird of prey climbs in altitude where it waits. Once a potential meal has been spotted, the falcon tucks its wings and feet in and literally dive bombs towards its prey. Reaching speeds of up to 240 miles an hour, the peregrine falcon strikes at its prey with blinding speed. If it's a fairly small meal, the falcon will swoop and catch its prey. If the prey is too large to carry, the falcon uses its immense speed to blast into the target with its feet clenched, making a fist. The sheer speed of which this bird carries out its attack instantly kills whatever is in its way. The Human To this day, humans across the globe hunt to survive. Life has been made easy with the invention of firepower but this hasn't always been the case. Apart from our incredible intelligence, humans have another advantage over almost all animals. The ability to run for miles. This may not seem like much, but it's a huge step in becoming a top predator. Our sweat glands are highly evolved, allowing us to cool down efficiently when hot. Our respiratory system is so advanced it allows us to breathe even when doing strenuous activities and our bipedal way of movement may not be fast, but it saves huge amounts of energy. Many animals which we saw as food such as deer struggle to breathe when running and can overheat within the right parameters. This is where our intelligence steps in. Ancient humans would select a single animal from a wild herd and simply follow it. Initially, it would run away much faster than we could, but we would track it, carrying water we could go for days, following the same animal. After seemingly escaping, the humans would always reappear just over the horizon, constantly following, like a terminator, never stopping. The prey would become exhausted, and eventually, it would either die or simply give up. Standing on two legs, holding spears, and cooled by our sweat, 
humans conquered the food chain, and due to our highly evolved brains, we remain at the top of that very chain to this day. Is that a good thing? That's up to you to decide. That's all for tonight. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and make sure you like, share and subscribe for more new fusion action. I've been CJ. Sleep tight.